Whales, the world's largest living creatures, travelers of the globe, they are known to be faithful to their breeding and feeding grounds. But every time they come back, their life is at risk. Take the approximately 200 sperm whales populating the eastern Mediterranean Sea. Although exposed to many threats, the most lethal one to their survival is undoubtedly ship strikes. Of all sperm whales found stranded along the Greek coasts, more than half show clear signs of collision with the ship. Still, the majority of whales, fatally struck by vessels, will sink undetected to the bottom of the sea. If the number of ship strikes remains unchanged, the sperm whale population in this area is doomed to extinction. So, how can these collisions be prevented? First, by shifting shipping lanes away from the habitats of large whales. And when rerouting is not possible, by relying on vessels to reduce speed. In such areas known for a high collision risk, technical solutions can be immensely helpful to localize large marine animals and alert mariners about their presence. This is why OceanCare funded the development of Safe Whales, the first ever integrated real-time localization system of sperm whales. How does it work? The system consists of three solar-powered acoustic stations located one to two kilometers from each other. When a sperm whale vocalizes, the sound emitted is recorded by the hydrophones, processed by the boys and sent to an onshore analysis center. There, a computer model triangulates the signals to estimate the animal's location, which is accurate up to seven kilometers. A tailor-made software solution then combines the location results with shipping traffic data from marine traffic to assess the risk of collision with vessels. At this stage, the hardware and software have been successfully developed and tested. Once implemented, the system will be able to relay the risk of collision in real time to nearby vessels, urging captains to reduce speed or change course. Safe Wales has been offered to the Greek government to help bring the number of collisions down to zero. Will you be part of the solution too?